Okay, awesome. Hopefully everybody's doing well tonight. This is class 13 of 14 on becoming a seven-figure earner. Now, last night we talked a little bit about finding your niche, and tonight we're going to talk a lot about social media marketing, what we're doing as a team. Um, if you're on the other team, it's fine. You can do the same same type of thing. I, I actually did a training this morning with uh, some of the leaders of, of the company I said, everything we do, everything we create, that's for anybody in the company. And so um, I'm going to show you some examples of what I've created for this particular team. And you can use those for your teams as well. So one thing that I'm excited about what we've done, not everybody on here has to be a social media expert. And the reason being is because some of us are social media experts. And what I mean by that is we've created kind of a plug and play system for you, if you haven't noticed. And so... You can go out and build your own team pages. You can do all this kind of stuff, or you can promote our group page, and you can build that way. Uh, you can use a duplicatable system. I'm going to show you guys Thursday night as well. Uh, and a duplicatable, duplicatable system, as I mentioned, is not just a funnel system or a marketing system. It's a full-pledged training, support, all that kind of stuff, a family environment, creating the culture, all that. We'll talk about all that Thursday night. We're going to show you a very, very duplicatable system Thursday night to wrap this whole thing up. But for those who want to do social media and those who are good at social media or feel like they want, want to become better at social media, this is what we're talking about tonight. The first thing we're going to talk about is I've been scouring the internet for the last three days looking for what I would call my favorite video regarding LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very good place to market especially a business opportunity and think about this for a moment we're about to roll out or very shortly whenever corporate announces it the ability to onboard small businesses i'm going to show you a video right now i would subscribe to their channel i really highly recommend it because i've seen about a handful of their videos and they're excellent when it comes to linkedin and how to find and research and find a targeted market for you to speak with regarding your your opportunity your business including small business owners there's a lot of business owners on linkedin so for people who own mom and pop stores just businesses have employees things of that sort you can talk to them on linkedin so i'm going to stop this video if you do, it's only about seven minutes long but i'll stop it at different points i'll talk through different points of this video but we can learn a lot just watching this and we're gonna discuss it as well. So I will go ahead and start it for you. Just give me one second. Are you an entrepreneur wondering how to use LinkedIn to market your business? Do you want to find and attract your ideal client so that you can ultimately make more sales? If this sounds like you, tune in because in this video, you'll learn how to use LinkedIn to promote your products and your services and to find your ideal client. And if you want to make sure your LinkedIn profile is doing the heavy lifting for you, take a look at LinkedIn Liftoff. It's a free five-day mini course where you'll learn the exact strategies I've used to now get over 2,000 profile views in one week. I'll link the mini course below. And if we've never met before, I'm Heather Austin from ProfessorAustin.com and The Career Club on Facebook. And on this channel, I provide simple solutions to working professionals just like you to build your personal brand so that you can grow in a career you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hit the bell notification down below so you don't miss a thing. LinkedIn now has almost 600 million users. 61 million of those users are high level influencers and 40 million are in decision making positions within their organization. That's why you need LinkedIn to help you grow. How many people do we need? Three, 10? So over 40 million people on LinkedIn that are decision makers in their companies. Think about that. 40 million. We need 10. 10 local businesses, three local businesses, three people, 10 people. LinkedIn is an excellent resource to do what we're doing with our network, especially with the vertical of being able to bring in small businesses. So I'll continue on.
grow your business. So today you'll learn seven tips to help you grow your business on LinkedIn so that you can market and attract the right client or customer. Let's jump into it. Step number one is to optimize your LinkedIn profile. If your profile is not top notch, chances are your ideal client will never find you. And if they do find you, they're going to be turned away. So optimize your profile before you start seeking new clients or customers. Now I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the seven profile sections that must be optimized for you to receive success on LinkedIn's platform. The first section of course is your headshot. You wanna make sure your headshot is professional, make sure you're smiling and make sure that your appearance is appropriate for your industry. The second section that must be optimized is your professional headline. You wanna use an industry specific headline that has keywords or keyword phrases that your ideal client might search in order to find you on the platform. The third section of your Let's go back to that one. Now, keep in mind, network marketing, there's a lot of people on LinkedIn and network marketing, so you can use the tagline regarding network marketing. You know, network marketing company where you can save more than you pay, um, all sorts of things, Be, get paid on swipes, all that kind of stuff. You can use those taglines. Going back to the photo, take a professional photo. You've all seen my Facebook photo that I use. I had that professionally taken. Put that in, put that in as your headshot because that is a big deal. LinkedIn, you are attra uh, attracting business owners, people that look at your profile, a lot of them, they're business professionals. They expect you to, to look a certain way and they expect your page to look a certain way. So we'll go ahead and move on. Your profile that must be optimized is your summary. Now the LinkedIn summary is the most overlooked section on LinkedIn and take it from me, it is the most difficult to compose. However, with a few simple strategies, you can write a simple summary that effectively talks about who you are and what you have to offer a potential client. I have a video dedicated to helping you write the perfect LinkedIn summary. I'll go ahead and link that video up below. But on a general note, you wanna keep your pair paragraphs short and to the point. Use bullet points if you can to break up the content and headings or subheadings. And make sure you include your email address at the end so that a potential client can easily get in touch with you. The fourth part to your profile that needs to be optimized is your experience section. In your work experience section, make sure you list some of your greatest career accomplishments. Mention some of the biggest projects you've worked on and some of the biggest problems that you've helped others solve again make this section keyword heavy as well the okay why is that important and I'll tell you why that's important in a couple classes previous to this one we talked about why would people want to work with you who are you what makes you so special we're going to teach you how to promote yourself how to build yourself up and also promote your team you've seen this last week especially when I've actually <laughs> had time to sit down and do marketing and not focus on anything else uh, we've I've created a lot of videos, Fusion's created a few vi videos, Dawson and I created that one minute teaser today uh, on why you should join our team, things of that sort. We're gonna show you very, at a high level, how to promote yourself and how to promote your team, not just our network. You wanna brand our network, but you also wanna brand your team. And what you're doing is you're literally building an organization, and we'll talk about a lot about building your organization Thursday. Again, Thursday's training is going to type all of this in together. You, you guys are going to thinking, oh my goodness, this makes so much sense what John's been teaching us these last 14 lessons or, or whatever. And it's going to be really exciting for you. But very important on LinkedIn and anything you do, these are your bullet points. The, these are your, the highlights of your professional careers. That's what you want to put on there because, again, if another network marketer is looking at you or whoever may be looking at you or you're sharing your profile or whatever, it's got to look top notch. And so I highly recommend, again, going through her different uh, videos and things of that sort. I'll minimize this at the end so you can see how to, re uh, how to find her series of videos because I, from personally, I don't endorse everything. I, I'm very picky on what I talk about, very picky on what I, I endorse, and I really, really like the way that she breaks things down and helps people uh, on LinkedIn.
Fifth section of your profile that needs to be optimized is your education and training. Your education section can help you stand out from all the others. Feel free to add activities and societies that you participated in, or maybe there were groups and clubs that you are a member of. List that as well. The sixth section of your LinkedIn profile that must be optimized is your skills and endorsements. You wanna add a combination of soft and hard skills. Remember, soft skills are a little bit harder to quantify, but these are skills like communication, leadership, and teamwork. Hard skills are things that you've learned over time through your education and your training. These are things like accounting, bookkeeping, project management. List your most important skills first. By default, LinkedIn will highlight your top three skills. So list your most important skills first. These are skills that you want to be known for. And then finally, the seventh section on your LinkedIn profile that must be optimized is recommendations. Recommendations from others are the perfect way for you to be recognized for some of the accomplishments that you've made or some of the value that you have provided to others. Ask for recommendations from previous clients or previous customers. You could even ask for recommendations from thought leaders in your industry. Let's move on to the second step for growing your business on LinkedIn, and that is to create a LinkedIn page for your business. Your LinkedIn company page will tell others more about the products and services that you offer. Now, before you can create a LinkedIn business page, you need to have a personal LinkedIn account and you need to have verified your email address. Now, LinkedIn does a great job of walking you through the process of creating a business page. I'll place a link below this video where you can easily create your own business page. Step number three, to use LinkedIn to grow your business, and that is to develop your 30 second pitch. Having your 30 second elevator pitch ready will give you more confidence when you talk to others on LinkedIn about your products and your services. It's the perfect way to let others know about your expertise and and your qualifications. Kind of stop it there. We just had a meeting this morning with some of the leaders and we're talking about sending a pitch 30 to 60 second pitch over to Dave for corporate to review and start posting on our world and our rise up. So you can look at those pitches that some of the leaders use. What is their elevator pitch? What are they saying? What are they doing? And you can look at some of those to get ideas for your pitch. So when you go over to your LinkedIn profile, it, it'll at least be a starting point for you if you already don't have something that you're able to use and how you can help them solve some of their biggest problems. This is an essential resource and will save you time and energy in the long run. If you don't have your 30 second elevator pitch yet, I created a video just for you where I go into detail about how to create the perfect 30 second pitch. Make sure you take a look at that as soon as you're done with this video. Step number Okay, and another thing she mentioned too is solving their problems. An excellent way to do this. When you're reaching out, and she's gonna teach you here in a moment on how to minimize your searches so you can key in on different types of professionals as far as network marketers or whatever, but you can even do little courses and little tips and tricks and things of that sort. I'll, I'll give you a perfect example. Have a pitch something like, or a headline, you know, on a post you make or anything, having problems, you know, retaining your downline as a network marketer? Or are you having issues, you know, sustaining your income as a network marketer? What are the problems that you're facing? Start a conversation. As a network marketer, what are the, some of the problems you're facing? Are you, do you feel like you're overpaying for your products? Do you feel like it's hard for you to sell your product or service? That kind of stuff. That's a question. That's a driving question that's pointed. It's direct. And then you can start a conversation and you can say, here's a solution. Here's a solution for this. Here's a solution for that. You know, instead of paying more. But don't just post ads, say, hey, learn how to do this. No. Are you having problems with this? Are you having problems with that? Are you facing this? Are you facing that? What are the obstacles? stopping you from earning income in this industry what are those types those are the types of things you want to post those are type kind of pointed questions you want to ask so when you do that kind of stuff again you want to start that conversation then here's my solution i had the same problem i ran into the same issues i was banging my head against the same walls this is what i did this is what we offer here at our network this is how i was over 
able to overcome the problem. Now, I saved more than I paid. I've had this. I don't have to sell anymore. I don't have to do this. That's the way it's done. That's the way the pros do it. And you're not being pitchy. You're not out there forcing yourself on anybody. You're not just throwing up on them with ads. That's, that's the type of stuff that she's talking about right here when she says you're doing something to help resolve one of their issues or problems. You're giving them solutions. So they've got to be solution-based posts and tips and tricks and things. And then when they say that, wow, this person really does know what he or she's talking about. Wow, this person really is involved in a great company or a great team. Are, you know, is your team giving you enough support? That's another question. Are you receiving enough support from your upline? Do you feel like you're on an island by yourself somewhere? That kind of stuff. Well, come check out our team. Not only do we not have to sell, we don't feel stranded. We don't feel left behind. That kind of stuff. Those are all great things to post. Those are the types because what you're doing is you're touching people's pain. Many different ways, but you're doing it very subtly. A very We call it a soft touch. And if you, if you create enough soft touches, you will get bites. People will respond because they're feeling frustrated. You're going to get people in network marketing that want to work hard and they want to do it, but there's just something stopping them. You've got to relate to those people in those posts. That's, that's the way you do it. And again, then you offer your solution with soft solutions. And it's almost like an educational thing for people. And they will start to follow you thinking, wow, so-and-so has really got it going on. Number four to use LinkedIn to market your business is to find your target audience. Using the search tools available inside LinkedIn, you can easily find and target your ideal client. I want you to think of this as the first step to building a new relationship. Let's say for example that I'm a freelance writer. I can use LinkedIn to target small business owners to let them know that I am available to help them with their blog posts, their social media content, or even sales pages. Now I want to jump over to the computer to show you exactly how to do this. Here we are at my computer. Hello. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I want to search for small business owners. Again, I'm on my LinkedIn home page and I'm going to click inside the search bar and I'm going to select people. From there, I want to type into the search box, small business owner. And what happens is LinkedIn displays over a million results for small business owners. Now I don't wanna target all of these individuals. So I'm gonna jump over to the all filters button and I'm going to narrow down my search. Now first I'm gonna select just those in the United States. If I wanted to make my search even smaller, so this is really important for small business owners that are targeting local businesses or local clients, I would type in the city into the location box. However, I'm gonna scroll down I'm just using the United States and then I want to scroll down to the industries section now let's say I want to target professional training and coaching so I'm going to select on that and then I'm going to click apply and then LinkedIn gives me now a result of 19,000 people so now rather than dealing with a million people we're now dealing with 19,000 now I could even narrow that down even more if I wanted from here, I'm going to scroll through this list and decide what small business owner can I, as a freelance writer, if that's what I did, target? Who would be able to use my services? So I'm going to scroll through the list. My recommendation here is if you already have a connection with that individual, definitely target them. Or if you have a connection that is connected with that individual, you'll want to target them as well. Once you find individuals that you want to target, go ahead and click on the connect button. We always want to send a personalized connection request. So I'm going to select add a note. And from here, I want to add a connection request, letting them know how I might be able to help them. And I'm okay, let's stop there again. Network marketing. You can look up network marketing people. A lot of them have profiles on LinkedIn. Now remember this, this is very, very important. We know that one to 3% of them are making money. So 97% of them on LinkedIn, or well, maybe some of them are LinkedIn are making money. So say it's 50, 50, which is probably isn't that high. It might even be 80, 20, 80% of them on LinkedIn probably aren't making much money at all. So, but again, when you reach out to these individuals and you do this kind of thing, going back to what I just said, you're not pitching them. You're not pitching them. Hey, check out 
our network. Check out what I'm doing. Hey, I noticed you're in the same industry. Check this out. That's not going to do that. That's just like throwing crud against the wall. No, it's again, those pointed questions. You know, I notice you're in network marketing. Are you having the same issues a lot of network marketers face? And that's being able to sustain a downline. I notice your network marketing. Have you noticed that, you know, it's been rough the last couple of years because, you know, the industry seems to be changing a little bit. Everything's going over this or that, you know, find you know, those types of touches. Those ty types of things, you know, oh my gosh, I'm excited to see another network marketer on here. I just love this industry. However, you know, I, I faced a couple obstacles. A have you, you know, seen this? Have you seen that? That kind of, those are the types of things. You don't want to just throw ads at them. You want to build friendships. You want to build connections. You want to start conversations. The people that are good at doing this, you're going to get a lot of conversations started. Then you can start small groups on there where you have 20 people, 30 people, 40 people, and you start these little hubs. And she'll show you how to do that here in a minute as well. And that's the way it's done. And then you're going to draw them to you. They're going to see your profile and they're going to see all the success that you've had and things of that sort. And like, oh, wow, look at these bullet points. Look at this person. Look at what John's done. Look at all this kind of stuff. Look at the team he's on. Then you can start slowly promoting your team and you say, you know what? I had those, again, I've had these obstacles. I've, I've had these types of things. This is how I overcame it. I'm on an amazing team. I was taught how to do this and that and this and that. Uh, you know, and if you're interested, I'd love to share with you how I was over able to overcome and let them see it. Let them see that it's not just the training you're receiving and all that kind of stuff. That's also that they're thinking, man, this program sounds a lot better than the program I have. In fact, I know this works because I just did it um, a week or so ago and I got a couple signups from doing this type of stuff. So it's just reaching out to other, not, it wasn't even on LinkedIn, it was another place place, but reaching out to other network marketing professionals with these types of pointed questions. And it, it, it does work and they will see you and, and it's just being consistent with this type of stuff and just reaching out to more and more with, again, with problems and solutions, problems and solutions. So let me go ahead and start this back up. I'm not not going to pitch any products or services to them. I'm simply inviting them to take part of the free content that I offer. Now you could consider sharing a link to a blog post or a video that you recently published that might be able to help them out in their own business. Or what you could even do is invite them onto your email list by sharing some sort of free offer or some sort of opt-in that they might be able to benefit from. Now remember, you don't want this to be spam. You want to keep this message short and simple and use it to start a new relationship. Step number five to use LinkedIn to grow and market your business is to use the newsfeed wisely. Now is the time to use your newsfeed to share updates about your business, make meaningful posts, and interact with your network. The main goal here is to share content that causes engagement and interest around who you are and what it is that you have to offer. Now you can make post to either your personal LinkedIn page or your business page. If you do it to your business page, I always recommend sharing the post from your personal LinkedIn account. Now, when it comes to what to post in your LinkedIn newsfeed, consider sharing inspirational content, such as a meaningful quote that might resonate with your network. You can also introduce an article or a blog post that you recently published. And if you're like me, you can always share the content that you produce on YouTube inside your LinkedIn newsfeed, or you can share a teaser video to that content. Think about what your audience wants to know and produce content specifically for them. Another tidbit when it comes to using the LinkedIn newsfeed is to interact with others that also post on LinkedIn. You can like, comment, and share the posts that they make. Most likely, they'll do the same for you. Step number six to use LinkedIn to market your business Business is to publish an article on LinkedIn. LinkedIn Publisher is the perfect tool to share your knowledge and expertise about topics in your industry. You don't need a big fancy blog to be able to do this. Start by focusing on areas that you specialize in or areas that you're passionate about. For me, that's topics like resume writing, LinkedIn profile optimization, or even interview strategies. Create meaningful content around topics that you're passionate about or that you specialize in and put it in article form on LinkedIn.
Here's an article I did for you. Network marketers, have you felt your upline has abandoned you? There, there's, there's, there's an article right there. And then you can just write about your team. You don't, e don't even write about our network. Write about your team. You know, that, that's a big one. I cannot tell you how many people say, oh, my gosh, my upline. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. I've heard it from all sorts of different people in different companies. That's a big one. You know, so you can write an article about that. And again, it, art, is retention killing your business in this industry? Write an article about that. Write it, don't say our network in your article. Do not write your company name in the article. Just keep it vague. Just keep it, this is the article, this is a problem, but this is it. This is the article and this is a solution. And then have them start commenting. And it's an excellent idea to comment on their stuff because you're going to start a conversation. You know, and they may try to sell you, and that's okay. I've had people try to sell me before, and I've turned around and sold them. I've done it many, many, many times. You know, I've commented on people's stuff. They reach out to me, oh, how's it going? Da, 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 da. And they need to start a conversation back and forth. And then eventually, they can see that what you have is better. And I'm not going up. I'm not saying, hey, my stuff's better. My stuff's greater. Da, da. I say, you know, what? I am very, very happy with what I'm doing. I finally, after all these years, I found something that works for me. You know, I love the fact that I'm saving more than I pay. I don't feel like I have to sell anything. I just, I'm just really comfortable here. I think it's fantastic. And all you want them to say is, oh, really, what, it is, what is it that you do? That starts the conversation, and boom, there's a potential prospect for you. So never, ever, ever make comparisons between your stuff and their stuff, ever. Well, I think mine's better. Well, I just, because if you start down talking their stuff, they're passionate about their business. That's why they've got a profile. They've, that's why they've got that stuff. But again, remember, most of them are struggling in their business because that's the math in this industry. That's how it works in most companies. So just, you've got to know that and realize that you are coming in from a position of strength, but you need to know how to massage the messaging so you're not, you know, downplaying where they're at and you're not insulting them in a sense. You're just having a conversation. And if you currently have a blog, consider taking your blog posts and repurposing them and putting those on LinkedIn as well. Now, when it comes to sharing your content on LinkedIn, both in the newsfeed and articles, I'm not gonna tell you to post multiple times a day. This waters down your content and decreases your engagement. However, I will say that if you post once a day, three to five times in the newsfeed and potentially share one article a week, this allows you to get your message across without watering down the contents. Step number seven to growing and marketing your business on LinkedIn is to create a pod. A pod is simply a group of individuals that support and interact with each other on LinkedIn. For example, when one person in the pod makes a post or shares an article on LinkedIn, they invite the others in the pod to like, comment, and share the contents of their post. This type of engagement pushes your content out to more people and in turn increases your exposure. The ideal size of a pod is 15 to 20 people. You don't wanna be spending all day liking, commenting, and sharing other people's posts. Now everyone in the pod has to agree to only promote their highest quality content. So develop a list of individuals that are in your industry or related industries and create your own pod. Now if you wanna make sure your LinkedIn profile does the heavy lifting for you, take a look at LinkedIn Liftoff. It's a free five-day mini course where you'll learn the exact strategies that I've used to grow my profile views to 2,000 views in one week. I'll go ahead and link that up below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, so minimize this here so you can see the video. How to use LinkedIn to market your business. And right here, let's see if I can copy and paste this in the comments really quick, just to give you an idea in case anybody on here, I highly recommend <laughs> go into this. And let me put it here, paste it in there, and you guys can refer back to that.
But again, some excellent advice. I absolutely love that video because there's nothing in there that she said that I don't agree with 100%. She mentioned a couple of things that was very interesting as well. She mentioned a blog. You know, we've got a team blog. We've got it at r-affiliates.com. Now, obviously you're not trying to push your people to r-affiliates.com, but you know what you can do? Go down here where it says type, here to search, and type in snipping tool. Snipping tool, just like that. And you click on snipping tool and it's an app, and you can copy and paste anything off of PDFs, off of anything. You can do screenshots, you can do all, you can take the content and the photos of the blog and you can use it for yourself to create those posts. And you don't have to mention r affiliates. You can, you can take that information, it's there for you to use anytime you want. You know, but and all this stuff she says, again, we need three people or we need 10. Think of how many small business owners you're gonna be able to reach out to. When we do the training, when Steven and I get together and we do the training about how to get past the gatekeepers and small businesses, and well, LinkedIn is one way to get past gatekeepers because you get to a lot of decision makers really quickly. And that's gonna be a different training on, you know, how to, are you having an issue with, you know, expenses with your business, da, 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 all that kind of stuff that we'll be able to talk about. Are you, do you feel like it costs too much to market your business? You know, that kind of thing. Have you been looking for ways to promote word of mouth more effectively? That kind of stuff. That's the kind of stuff we'll be creating in the other course that we do, that we have for you to help you get to the small business owners. You can do that via LinkedIn or a lot of different ways. So let's go to the next thing here. I want to show you this really quick. I first of all make sure I'm on the right one and right here okay so I just created this page today actually uh, our network affiliates we're actually changing the name to revolutionaries uh, uh, affiliate members because we're not supposed to use our network so I'm not sure why fusion did that I guess they didn't get the memo <laughs> but anyway so they've already requested the name change so it's on its way it will be it's very similar to ours. Remember, our, our Facebook page, our group, there's a difference between a group and a page. Our group is a group we can control the content, we can control the posts, we control a lot of stuff in the group more so than, than you can on a page. There's two different things. If you're going to do a page, this page is for promoting, it's for marketing, it's for advertising, it's to get, drive people to it, through different ways and methods. I'll show you a couple ways to do that. And then a group is where you take them after they've joined the business or if they wanna bring prospects with them into your group, that's fine. But if you're just prospecting and doing nothing else, then a page is what you need. A page is a better way to do it because a lot of prospects aren't just gonna go find your group, log in there, you know, try to get in and all that kind of stuff. So this right here is a page. And you notice right here on the page, you notice a few things here. I've got my pinned post. My pinned post is a lot different than the pinned post I've got on my group. On my group, I've got the video welcoming everybody to my group. This is how our team works and da 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 da. You know, go through the file section, go through this and this. This pinned post is more of an ad. Learn why people are not just walking, but running to our network, not just to our network, but to team revolutionaries of our network. If you're in team Kaizen, then it'll be, but to team Kaizen of our network, you know, it, it, whatever, whatever team you're promoting, but it's important to promote your, that the, our network and your team, you've got to bring your team value. Saving more than you pay is very exciting, but earning commissions while you do so is even more exciting. Check out our team website and learn more about saving money with our mobile you know, auto perks, mortgage, da da da. Join as a charter member or come in as a fan and see why our network has something for everyone. Also, take a look at our videos, photos, testimonials, and more here on this page. So, you're inviting them to look over to the left and take a look at this stuff. If you're looking for a place to plant your flag as a marketing professional, I think you just found your new home. Boom, click on your website right there. That's a pinned post. If I click over to the videos, it's got the videos. I just put the R perks video in there. I put the uh, YR team videos in there, everything. And I only made a couple posts today. I invited people, thank you so much. I invited people here in less than a couple of hours. I think I have close to 100 likes on this page already, 97 followers already on this page. And because 
again, if you have people on the team, go and like your page. It's fine. You know, endorse each other, like each other. Because what happens is it, it gets those numbers up quickly and people think, oh, wow, this page is hopping. If you're going to create posts in your, not your group page, but your marketing page, only do maybe one or two posts a day. Don't do that many posts. I've done a lot of posts today on this only because I've been loading up the videos. But when I post, I'm only going to post a couple times a day. That's it. That's it on a page like this. Okay. And then again, once you get them to ask questions or, or if they sign up, then move them over to your group page. You can move, move them over to our group. If you want to use our group, our group page is hopping. It's got 64, 6,500 members in there. It's booming. It's an excellent group page to use. Okay. So if I click on here, I go to videos. So I can see my videos pull up that I loaded today. And I'm going to show you an excellent video you can use. So say you get a prospect either through social media or you get it through, get the prospect through any different ways, different means. I, I taught this this morning and a lot of leaders love this idea. And I do this myself. I do it all the time. So I would go here and see if, see if I can find the video here. Okay, so I've got the testimonial video about our network. When I share information with somebody, it's easy. Okay, I want to learn about this a little bit. Okay, great. I'm going to share my personal testimonial and my message, my email to this prospect or whatever. I'm going to share my savings. Say, you know what? This is what I've done. I've saved money. I think this is pretty neat. You know, here's some information. You can send them to uh, our team site you can send them to the website you know your microsite your website is a great excellent resource send them to your website with your always have your link on it and say you know what here's a video a testimonial video is about some what some of our members are saying about our network i think it's really neat but you know what more importantly as well this right here i specifically chose this team in our network because I felt this team gave me the support I needed. I felt like I'm not left alone on this team. I feel very strongly that if you're going to join our network, you know, you, you, you really need to get on a really good team, an aggressive team. And then you send them this video right here. I mean, so hopefully you should be able to see that. Okay. I'm going to play it. It's about a minute long is all. And it tells you everything you need to know about our team. And, in like a minute, minute and 20 seconds or whatever it is, if this thing would, would uh, <laughs> it's not, tell you anytime you zoom, okay, give me one second, I'll get to it another way. When it's in a zoom meeting, it sits there and does this stuff. So I will find it this way. Give me one second. Okay, hold on a minute. Forget it, I'm going to do it this way. There's always, I always have a backup plan. Bear with me for one second. Okay, now I'll stop the video. Share it. Aha, uh -huh. see, figured it out. Okay.
Okay, so it's a very simple little video, but it shares a lot. And I have to thank my son. He and I sat down for an hour and a half and created that this morning. So anyway, but it's easy. It's easy. And this is the kind of stuff I do. I always do little tidbits. I always send them a little information. I break up my emails in a way and um, I write them very professionally. And I just say, look, you know, again, this is why I like our network. So you leave that little personal testimonial on there. Here's what other people are saying about our network. I think it's fun. You should check out some of these testimonials. Send them one of the testimonial videos. Why our network video that I created. Send them the you know ones about our team. All that kind of stuff. You're creating a lot of value by doing this. And just say you know let's set up an appointment. Let's talk. Let's chat. When would you like to do this? I've got Monday and Wednesday open at one o'clock. What, 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 which of those two days is better for you? Always give them about two options. Don't go, don't say, hey, you know, don't leave it up to them. Say, I'll let me know when you liked it up because they won't. Give them a couple of options and tie them down to a day when you can follow up. Another thing we're going to start doing right after these trainings, right after the new year, we're going to do closing calls. What's a closing call? A closing call is different than a prospect call. A closing call and go back to the course, the class that we taught when we talked about how do you get people to show up on these calls. Closing calls just say, look, I'm going to be able to put you on a call with my team leader or one of our leaders and it's a Q&A and you won't be the only one on the call. Don't worry. So no one's going to try to hard sell you. It's just so you can have your questions answered. And we'll just do closing calls and they're just Q&A calls, very soft, easy. They can ask their questions. We can answer their questions and boom, you can have the top leaders in your team helping you close your prospects. How cool would that be? So there's a lot of tools. It's just how do I use it? How do I you know, navigate this stuff? Which videos do I share with people? When do I share these videos with people? Well, it's easy. It's what are the people asking for and what are you trying to do to give yourself a little nudge or endorsement or what credibility or whatever it may be there's a lot of different things if they ask about the comp plan show send them the comp plan video and write your little two cents oh over and above this you also receive two dollars per month per person because it's not in the corporate comp plan video so put a little blurb on there you know check out this video you're paid every time you engage in these concierge services which i've done i saved money on this so i know it works and check out these testimonials from our friends over at our world put that in the email you know it's like look you you can save look at all these people they're saying check out this link here's a link to our world you can just go on there and read a bunch of testimonials what time do you want to meet and talk about this that's the kind of stuff you write that's the kind people all say well what do i say what do i say well that's what you say you always you give them that little nudge you never make guarantees don't say hey you know you can get in and make it tremendous amount of money in five days you, you don't don't say anything outlandish don't say anything unbelievable because a lot of that stuff is outlandish i mean i'm i'm doing well in our network but it took a while and it took a lot of work and i'm not making ten thousand dollars a day you know nothing like that but i'm doing quite well in it but and some other people are but i everything i teach everything i train i do myself this is this is I'm showing you guys how I do this. This is what this is the kind of stuff I do. And so in social media, it's very, very, very important when you see the pages and, and how you you write your content and things of that sort. It's always in a sense, and it's depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Again, going back to my Facebook page, just little blurbs and blogs and stuff to drive them to my website. What would you do on your page? You want to drive them to your rev system or to your funnel pages or to your closing sites. Whatever closing site you have, if you have a uh, whatever site it may be, that's what you're going to reference to on your posts and everything in your, in your Facebooks and your whatever. And again, in the group, it's different. And the, we're going to talk a lot about the group settings tomorrow. We're going to talk a lot about setting up your our network business as a corporation you're the ceo you have high management you have middle management you have low management and you have employees i'm going to teach you exactly how to run your teams to find maximum success that'll be on thursdays and i'm going to show you a du very duplicatable system on thursday as well 
But this right here, again, focusing on everything. The important thing to do is take all the classes that you've learned and all the stuff you've been taught up until now and start slowly applying those things and just practicing, practicing. Send a different video. You know, send this testimonial video to this project prospect send, send a different one to a different prospect see how they each react test them send you know send the uh short version why team revolutionaries or send a testimonial about why team revolutionaries they say the same thing one just says it faster than the other but the other one is a more personal touch because they have members speaking you know some of them pouring out their hearts and so it depends you know know who you're talking to and and it's just testing these as you send them to people and prospects but again never just send an email without any ammunition i always i'll say never go into a gunfight with a knife if you go into a gunfight with a knife you're probably not going to win unless you're really quick at throwing a knife and you're really accurate okay chances are you're not going to win that fight why would i send an email to a prospect not fully loaded not ready again here's my Thoughts on our network? This is why I like it. This is what I've saved money on. I think this is really neat. Check out some of these testimonials on our world, you know. Uh, and here's why. Again, you know what I've noticed in this industry. It's it's not just the company. It's the team that you join with. This is why I think you should take a serious look at our team. Here's that one minute twenty second video. Why our team or testimonials on our team, whatever it may be. Put that in your email and just systematically a couple bullet points here and there. Shoot that sucker off and tell them as you're sending them that email, I'm sending this to you, but I'd like to discuss this email with you tomorrow at what time? Set that appointment. And follow-up follow -up is crucial when it comes to building success in network marketing. But all this kind of stuff, I mean, it's very effective if you do it. If you do it and then teach your team how to do it as well. The first part of the duplicatable system I'm going to tell you about tomorrow is this class. is <laughs> is teaching your members, it's teaching your team how to be better, how to be better. These are business partners. Say, so as a business partner, I expect you to take this class because I took it, I learned a lot, and I think you can too. And also, if you take this class and I've taken this class, then you and I can work together a lot easier because we're doing the same things. We learn the same things. It's a lot easier to work synergistically with a business partner than if you did this and the other person didn't do anything at all. You feel like you're carrying that person all the time. That's not a business partner. That's not a business partner. If you have to carry the other person, they're not a business partner. You're looking for three business partners. You will attract professionals with this type of training. You will attract professionals with professional looking marketing with professional looking emails when you send it to them. Not just say, oh, here's the information, call you later, see you, bye. That's not what, what good is that? Anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. So it, it's, I, I wrote a sample email in our file section on our team Facebook page. Take a look at it. Another thing, again, I'm gonna go over into more details and more things tomorrow on the duplicatable system, things of that sort. I'm gonna open this up to a Q&A and again, Questions pertaining to social media marketing, questions pertaining to what we talked about tonight would be better because since this is recording for other classes, for people watching the future, it'd be better to keep the questions centered around what we're talking about, specifically online marketing. So go ahead if you want to unmute yourself. The time is yours to, and ask away. Hi, John. It's Leanne. Hey, Leanne. Um, so this has been awesome training. First off, I just have to tell you, thank you. Um, so I, I, this last weekend, I did actually create a business page on my Facebook. And I have been adding content. But I'm having trouble adding our videos. You, had showed, you showed it tonight here just a few minutes ago that on... You, our team revolutionaries you have all our videos there and you don't have to answer this right now it's maybe something that you can help me one-on-one -on -one later or even somebody else can jump in and help me but i'm 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 missing something i'm not able to add videos to that section about 
all the current videos that we do have so that somebody could look at them. So that's all I was going to say is I'm having, I'm stuck there. And if you have any little bit of advice, um, you can even just send it in a text message or like in messenger to me. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, 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 no problem. I'm trying to actually get back to that page so I can show a lot of people at once. And it's because it's on a zoom and <laughs> it's clocking. So when you, uh, let me see if I can find it really quick. Oh goodness. I had that's, that's the only problem with zoom is sometimes when you toggle back and forth like this, it clicks. Um, I'll send you, I'll post how to do it. If I can't find it in here, because I, I know how to do it. I've been doing it all day today. I just can't, this thing's clocking. Uh, let me try something real quick here. If you want to say, so basically when you go to post it, it post an ad, right? Or post it, just create a post. So when you click on create a post on the bottom, it, it says video photo. And all you do is click on where it says video photo and you just kind of walk through the steps. And so I'll do like a little, uh, I'll show you guys how to do it. If this thing keeps clocking, you can also even go to YouTube and say how to post a video on your Facebook group page or whatever, or, and it's different. There's a group page and there's a, um, just a page. So it's a group and then a page. So how you post a video on a group could be a little bit different on this one. I actually, actually, believe it or not, I think this is the same. So let me see. It's about to pull up. I'll try to show you guys this really quick as this clock. And I apologize. Let me see if I can new share this to you. So you can see that right there. See that page. So where it says, write a post, I click on that and see where it says photo video. I click on that and then click upload photo video, just like that. And it just, and then I just go to my desktop and it's gotta be in an MP4. It's gotta be a video that Facebook accepts, right? In that format. And so I would just go to my desktop I'd find a video and uh, let's see here why you should join our team. So I know I've got some videos in there and I've got, you know, I double click on that and it would just, you know, right there, double click. And once I double click, all that happens is it just sits there and clocks, this, you know, thing spins in circles. And once it's done at the bottom, when you scroll down here, it'll say, it'll start, it'll show line right here and it shows you how long it's been loading and when it'll be done. And then you'll receive a little notification, your video's ready and that's it. And then what you wanna do is make sure that um, it posts here, right there. And then you click over to videos, it should show in here as well. And that's it. So that's how I have to do to post a video, but it's got to be in the correct format. So I put four videos in there today. Okay, right there. perfect. Thank you. That's that's what I was looking for. And you know what? Yes, you also jogged my memory. Um, I could have gone to YouTube. So thank you for I don't, that. No, that's fine. That's just my, that's my well. fallback. YouTube's always my fallback <laughs> because you can just you can find anything on YouTube nowadays. I love it. So John, awesome. Good question. This, yes. This Irene. Yep. Uh, about files. You know, I tried to uh, create a doc. I th I was just playing around, trying to see how to create a file folder on my page, I think. And then I, you know, this, is there any e easy way to create a uh, transfer? I mean, make a copy of what you have in, on your file folder over to my page, or do I have to uh, cut and paste? Yeah, you have to cut and paste. The only reason, because I've got a controlled closed group. And so with that, it's hard to share. And okay. the reason I've got the closed group is so that nobody can just go on there and start, you know, <laughs> causing issues and stuff like that. We can control that better. Uh, and so that's why I use a snipping tool, screenshots, things of that sort. And you can pull that information anytime you want. Or uh, what I've been posting a lot lately in the file section is the Google Doc. So you can just take that link and then use that link and that you can convert that anywhere. So, uh, and so with the PDFs, with the, um, so you don't have to copy and paste with the PDFs, the PowerPoints, anything like that I post, I actually create a Google Doc with it and I just send you that link. And then what I do is I make it a shareable link. Anybody that has a link can have it. So you can go to your, your pages and you just click write a post right click and then you just copy the link from our page and paste it right into there 
and wait a couple seconds and it'll pull up the visual and everything for you just by using that link. And that will create a file? That will create a file in your yes. folder yeah. for you? Well, it'll, it'll create a post. It'll create a file if you have a group. You can't, there's no file section right here on oh, okay. a Facebook page. It's gotta be a Facebook okay. group. The Good. group have okay. a file section, the pages don't. But you can, what you can do is you can go into photos right here mm -hmm. and you can create a, a create an album mm -hmm. or you, can, you know do that kind of stuff like that just click create album and mm -hmm. put together a photo album and everything will go in the end of there and, hi hi john this is cheryl yeah give me one second i'm trying to whoever's muted there we go all right go ahead hi um i have a quick question because i have a prospect calling me at nine but what I did in the, at the end of November was go through LinkedIn, and because they had a special free trial, I contacted over 500 contacts and obviously put the wrong message out there, you know, which included my links right away. You know, I said, you know, I'm, I'm contacting you because you're a fellow affiliate, and then I put my links in there. Now, I'm getting a lot of responses back. But um, I was just wondering, you know, if you could give me some suggestions how to follow up with these people now to kind of correct my, my pitch that I gave to them or that aggressiveness that I had. Right, yeah, because the first mistake, obviously, is sending them the link because you don't want to do that on the first contact. Again, what you want to do is kind of what we spoke about. But if you've already done that, it really depends what the response is to you. And so I'd almost have to see the responses. If the responses were negative, oh, no, thank you. I'm not interested because, you know, someone's blah, blah, blah. Um, or if they're like, okay, I'm open. You know, I, during the responses, just say, you know what? Thank you for replying. Thank you for responding. Um, I, I believe I felt something pretty nice. If you're open to more information i'd love to share it with you you have to kind of just soften that up a little bit and um or ask them you know thank you for your response what in particular uh piqued your interest you know what you know that kind of stuff and just kind of ask more pointed questions that way uh it really depends again every response that they give you your response back is going to be a little bit different but again if you're going to do a mass mailing like that is is better like she said in an article and in a blog and stuff like that because that's just a lot more unaggressive uh, and because if you're just sending the link in the initial they feel like oh here and someone's just trying to recruit me and they're not going to give you the time of day so i have to be really careful and go back and kind of watch this a couple times what he, she and i were saying that's the that's the best way for the most effective responses and you will get more responses and there'll be more positive responses and it's a lot easier to turn those into prospects yeah i did most i they were all affiliates you know uh, already affiliates of some other um business or something so so i i i, I am getting back responses hey look at mine you know and um yeah, and yeah i'm playing it down yep Yep. Hey, John. You got to find people that are looking. You got to pe find people that are kind of in pain. And that's why those articles and those blogs and the, that type of touch is better. Because if you're just saying, oh, here's my link, they're going to like, oh, cool, awesome, here's mine. You know, and it's going to be like a link war back and forth. So that's what you're trying to avoid by doing those types of soft touches that we talked about earlier in this training. Because you're looking for people to respond because that person is looking for something else, even though that person may be in, you know, they may have a company they're doing, but they may not be doing great. They're not going to come out and say it on LinkedIn. Hey, I'm not doing great with my company, but they can see your posts and your tutorials and your trainings and your, hey, how did I overcome this and that? That may attract them to reach out to you more positively and say, hey, what is it that you're doing that you found helps with this obstacle or this problem? That kind of, that's what you're looking for. That's going to create better engagement and that's going to give you a much stronger prospect. Yeah, go ahead, Robert. Hey, yes. Um, I wanted you to make sure, please, please check your messenger. I, I will. You. I will. Yeah, I will. All right. Yeah. Great call tonight, as always. Yeah. No, thank you. And then, yeah, no, I'll definitely check that. And then any, any other questions before we wrap this up? So, if not, so, I, again, I'll record this. I'll put this in the, the uh 
file section <laughs> once again. And Thursday night, remember not tomorrow night, Thursday night, we're gonna show you our duplicatable system. We're gonna wrap everything up and I am way excited for my meeting Thursday. And if we can't get 10 on the pen after Thursday, then I don't know what else to say. <laughs> we, we should be able to. I'm excited for that training Thursday night. So everybody have a great night. We will talk to you then. Thank you.